Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another Historical Humans Reacts and today we are looking at a mystery that has been solved. The mystery of why Roman buildings have survived so long has finally been unraveled, scientists say. This earth-shattering news recently was published out of CNN, actually today, and what they're talking about is the secret ingredient. Mr. Krabs held tight of the Roman Empire. We are not docu-dewberry. Stop. Krabs, <laughs> yeah. hand form. over the Roman concrete for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, Aaron. Uh, you can tell, you can tell this is not uh, one of our early videos in the recording sessions. <laughs> you can listen, listen, you say secret formula. What? What late millennial, early Gen Z hasn't seen SpongeBob? It's my secret formula. I Here. wish I had. Yeah. SpongeBob. -y anyway, place. so there is a secret ingredient. Uh, apparently, it is secret. Um, in that, I didn't know it was secret. <laughs> I mean, I didn't either, but, but still. And, and I knew it before this, this article came out. <laughs> but um, anyway, there's this. this it's big news. It's it's coming out. They've got um, uh, there is a uh, use of quick lime in the uh, in the limestone that is used uh, to enhance the durability of concrete for Roman concrete. Um, and that is that's a big deal because quick lime, uh, aka calcium arc oxide, is very reactive and dangerous it is not a safe chemical to use mm -hmm. um, it is it is a dangerous substance um and uh of course to make concrete you are combining this substance with water uh a substance which is known to uh cause reactions among another a number of chemicals <laughs> so um uh, not necessarily uh worker safety in mind here <laughs> the Listen, thing that i find they... oh sorry Sorry. Yeah, no. Um, the thing you have to understand about the Romans, and for anyone who is just a little bit of a Roman enthusiast or just doesn't know anything too much about Roman architecture in general, they loved concrete because they could do just about anything that they could put their minds to with Aqueducts, concrete. Aqueducts, coliseums. Not just that. Not just like the Colosseum or like uh, aqueducts. I mean like temples. Like they... they Functionality and aesthetic yeah. were two key components to Roman architecture. Yeah. And that's why we have so much of it. They just said, oh, how are we going to build this? First yeah. step, concrete. Yeah, the Parthenon Dome, the most uh, famous temple in Rome, that dome is physically impossible without the use of concrete. And even with R Roman concrete, uh, which thanks to the quick lime and thanks to another thing the article mentions, which is hot mixing, which is where you boil it as you make it, um, even thanks to all these innovations, it's still almost not possible to make. <laughs> it's still almost, it, it still almost shouldn't be able to stand up. <laughs> God, I love a good dome. And I've been in the Parthenon. But the thing yeah, that I, have, I find I very interesting sorry. is they originally thought that the concrete, the white chunks that were present, were just a result of really sloppy mixing or poor quality materials. They initially thought it that it was a, a a negative thing within the concrete, but over time they ended up realizing that it gave the concrete the ability to heal it, it cracks that form over time. Yep. Yep. I mean, it's gonna get wet. Concrete expands. Yeah. And um, so Roman it makes concrete, it kind of sense. Yeah, and Roman concrete has long been known for its resiliency against wear and tear, uh, even in saltwater environments, uh, which is the death of concrete is salt water but it, there's a really excellent case and i believe it's a, i think it's closer to tel aviv or a acre um there's a good there's a really well preserved roman leftovers of a roman port Ma like the concrete base is still there yeah. concrete modern concrete would could never <laughs> yeah no and and one of the fun things, too, is, you know, the many ing unique ingredients such as salt water, heating, this quick lime, volcanic ash, all that comes together to make Roman concrete uh, unique from modern concrete, from any other form of concrete. 
And what's the uh, what's really fun about it? What makes this article uh, feel really new, truly newsworthy in my eyes, especially, is um, this two thousand year old innovation has some real life applications today. Because as uh, the CNN article mentions, if concrete construction companies were to switch from modern concrete to Roman concrete, the carbon emissions for making and using concrete would drop by eight percent. Wow. Yeah, modern concrete costs like the amount yeah. of carbon, the, the yeah. carbon footprint so, from just concrete is ins- it's, absurd. It's eco friendly concrete. <laughs> hey, listen, if it's lasted 2000, you know the joke that Roman roads have lasted like 2000 years, but then like modern asphalt roads don't like take five years yeah. and yeah. need to be repaired again. Listen, there's like, listen, some of these things have lasted for so <laughs> look at my background. I mean, granted, I mean, not all this is concrete. Look in that best condition, but yeah. it's still there. It's not all concrete, but it's still there. Yeah, no, nothing. Right? I believe. I believe nothing in your background was constructed less than eighteen hundred years ago. Yeah. Right, <laughs> yeah, because there's. There, I don't think there's anything in there that is Severin or later. Uh, well, you, you got yeah, Sever. Well, actually, Constantine's Basilica is about right there. Uh, yeah. So yeah. That, all right. So that, but, is that, that that's pretty far back. That's pretty far back. Still. For what it is, yeah. Roman concrete. Yeah, this is Roman concrete. If it concrete, ain't broke, don't there's... fix it. Yeah, there there is a lot of very fun things about Roman concrete. Uh, the recipe isn't so much a, a mystery as uh, what it could actually do for us today. Uh, I think that's the real gem in this article. That's the real prize. Well, that and it also clarified um, previous scholars' work. Initially, they had thought that it was a volcanic ash that made Roman concrete so strong. Yeah, but the volcanic ash is. Yeah, it's well. The volcanic ash is still a key component. It's definitely what the Romans thought was their most core component, but you know the quick line and the heating combined probably are the most important part. The volcanic ash and the salt water definitely contribute, but it's you know it's the quick line that should be the basis. And then the one last thing I want to touch on before we wrap this up is this is just evidence of the information lag because this information has been pretty well known throughout the academic circles for a while, but now it's just finally getting disseminated to the public, which is great. But seeing news articles like this is kind of funny because it gives you uh, deja vu. Yeah, I know. Like, like I was looking at this, like the last time I saw Roman concrete being something being called innovative for its you know composition was like 2012 2014 i was a teenager just learning the field and it's just like wait this is news to everyone (laughs) (laughs) what is happening i think on that cool and interesting bombshell i think we could wrap this up yeah, if you guys because not it, even that bombshell is enough to erode Roman <laughs> concrete. Exactly. Oh, uh, hey, and if you guys uh, enjoyed that terrible <laughs> pun, please be sure to leave a like down below. If there's a topic you would like to see, drop a comment in the comments down below, and be sure to hit the little notification bell so that way you are notified anytime we release new content. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.